The Burke County Clerk of the Circuit Court, Carla Hayden, announced she's stepping down after being harassed and receiving numerous threats from members of the public. Arliss DeSantis joins us after talking to the woman who says she decided she couldn't take it anymore. Well, that's right, Mitch. Carla Hayden says all this trouble comes down to rising tensions over the upcoming elections. She says the Vanderburgh County Sheriff's Office is aware of several incidents of several individuals rather who have been harassing members of her staff almost daily. Now, Hayden is serving her second and final term as circuit court clerk and chief elections officer. Her term would be up in January, but she says she's decided to step down early as she worries the safety concerns will only escalate as the election nears. You worry about your family, you worry about yourself. Are they going to pay the price for me being in the role I'm in? Vanderburgh County Clerk Carla Hayden is going to be stepping down from her role after she says people have been harassing her and members of the election office. It's through letters, it's through phone calls, it's through you know, people showing up. These threats combined with rising tensions over the upcoming election, she says have made her worry for her safety. There is a lot of anger, there is a lot of things like that, that it wouldn't be in a far reach that that could escalate to something uh, physical. There's one group in particular behind this treatment. Election deniers, the people who don't think that that Trump lost the election. And these are folks that embrace con conspiracy theories and uh, you can't convince a person like that um, that what, how they're seeing reality is not how reality actually exists. Sheriff Noah Robinson says deputies at the Civic Center have had to ban five people from the premises. They're only allowed in with constant supervision and escort by a deputy. They're not committing criminal behavior, but it's obvious that they're mentally ill, and yet I don't have the ability to do anything about it uh, because I just can't take somebody and grab them off the street just because they're acting strange. Some of these individuals are harassing multiple officials. Sheriff Robinson says one individual is known for doing this in counties all over the area. Folks uh, more commonly these days get on Facebook and say really awful things about their elected officials. I've seen it over and over again. It's, it's more rare for somebody to come out there into the physical world and, and walk up to the elected official and start ranting and raving. Uh, and those are the folks that are truly uh, borderline deranged. Hayden says she's tried to reassure some of these individuals that they're working hard to keep the elections safe. The elections in Vandenberg County are very secure. Um, I have no, no qualms, no questions that the results are the results. You can't convince everybody that that's the truth. Now, I'm told one of those individuals targeting the elections office was actually in the building at the Civic Center, escorted by deputies, of course, while I met with Hayden today. Hayden says the only person currently running for clerk does not want to step into that role early. She says a replacement will be decided by caucus to fill in for the November election until that newly elected clerk can be sworn in in January. We also did reach out to both Vanderburgh County Republicans and Democrats. Both parties declined to comment on the matter.